In this video, we're going to show you how to remove the driver's front window switch and mirror switch from a Leon Mark III. Tools you'll need for the job, a trim removal tool, a T25 and T20 Torx, a small flat screwdriver and a 90 degree pick. So first step to remove the door card, you need to remove this cover that's behind the handle, there's a bolt behind that. So you need a pick that's got a, like a 90 degree hook on it and put it in and just get it around that gap at the back of this little panel there. Start from the back at the bottom and just pull it towards it and that cover will pop off. And then there's another one lower down here. This one's got two little notches on the bottom where you can get a tool in. Pull that towards you from the bottom, and that's the other bolt. So now undo those two bolts, the T25 Torx ones. Now using a flat trim tool, start in one of the bottom corners of the door card and just put it in and turn it and pop the clips out. Once you get going you can get your fingers in and then pull and work your way around. Once they're all free, the door card will just lift up and pull towards you. So now we can see on the back of the door card, the first one is the cable that runs to the lock. So you need to undo, uh, put your screwdriver in, just pop that hook over and that'll pull that out. And you can swing it round till it's level with the notch and pull that out. And then it's electrical plugs after that. So you can see on the blue one here, and on this one, that little tab at the end here needs to lift up so then you can pull the other side out so you're just pulling it up enough so you can get it over that little notch and further down here on the door module you've got another one of those plugs again exactly the same as the last one pop the little tab up at the end and pull that out and then the large plug here push that little tab in so that you can swing the pink arm over and as you swing the arm over the plug will release and pull that out and that's the door card removed. So now we can see the back of the door card. We need to remove the long strip that runs across the, hand, uh, the handle on the inside, which houses the switch in. And first we need to undo on the back these T20 torques working their way along. There's 15 of them. So now we can feel that this section, the end of the handle section, is, is a bit loose. So if you just put your hand in there, put a little bit of pressure on that and come to these clips on the back. It's the clips, the small white ones. You don't need to touch these bigger ones here. So using a small screwdriver, bend the plastic out the way and push the tab through. And there's another one at the back of the door. Same again, putting a bit of pressure on from the back. get under the black plastic bit and then you can shove that bit out of the way and that'll push through and on the other side this section is now free 
So now this is loose and we can get to the back of it. We need to separate this hard plastic bit from the interior trim, in this case leather. We need to separate these two pieces. So they clip together. If you just look inside there, you can see where it's gripped around using those little metal clips. If you just use a long screwdriver and get under it, pop that off, and you can see now that's come apart. There's a couple more of them. Very hard to see with the camera. It's, it's hard to see even with your own eyes. You need to sort of get in there with the screwdriver and just pop those clips off and then work your way along. two pieces separated. Now we can undo the wiring on the two switches, two plugs. So that's the mirror plug there. Just push that little tab in, pull that out. And then on this one, for the window switch, you need to get a flat screwdriver in, pop the little red tab up, and then you can push the center black piece in, give that a wiggle and that'll come out. Now if you want to remove the actual switches from the trim, they are two separate switches. So if you put a little bit of pressure on the mirror switch first there, using a flat screwdriver, just push that tab away. And you'll see a switch pop up. And then at the back, there's another two there. So again, same technique, put that in. And that's the mirror switch removed. And then similar thing for the window switch, put a little bit of pressure on. And there's little tabs on the window switch that just sat in these grooves there. There's three on each side. So if you just work your way around applying pressure. And you'll see one side's up. And do the same with the other side. And that's the window switch removed. So before we fit the door card back on. Uh, we need to just look at these clips here that the door card's held in by. As you can see here, this is in the spread out position. What we need to do is reset these clips, um, otherwise the door card just isn't going to go on properly or you might break the clips. So if you pop that clip out, you can see here, these tabs are spread out. What we need to do is get this rod to click back in, this part here moves separately uh, to the rest of the body. And then that'll make the bits that are spread out there in line with the clip so it allows it to go into the hole in the door card uh, sorry in the door so using some snips there anything like that where you can just put equal pressure on either side and just pry it out and then you see just pop that clip out so now when you're refitting that to the door card you notice this white collar is pushed up against the clip so you push the door card back on into the hole and as you bang on the door card that will push that in and spread that out there so make sure you go around um, each clip on the door card and reset all of those into that position and then refit them onto the door card. The door card here slides in in between these two parts there. And the door card's ready to refit them.